Welcome to the Report to the Nation Media Forum of the National Press Club, where you get only the news and information that truly matters. Join us every week for discussion of the issues that affect our nation and our future. This program is a production of the National Press Club of the Philippines in partnership with the Strategic Communication and Information Service, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, Smart Philippines, and MX3. Okay, magandang umaga po mga kababayan at uh, welcome pong muli sa Meet the Press Report to the Nation Media Forum ng National Press Club. At uh, ito pong muli si Paul Gutierrez, ang pangulo ng NPC at kasama ko po yung magandang lalaking publisher po ng Police Files tonight at NPC Director Joey Binancio. And for this morning po, we're very privileged to have one-on-one, -on -one, uh, mat mat matagal na tayong walang one-on-one -on -one na bisita. Ang, uh, ang ating pong dating senador at anak ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos, si Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. At uh, before we proceed po, ay uh, siyempre kailangan po munang pasalamatan po natin ang ating mga partner stakeholders who has been with us, who have been with us uh, through the years. No? Unang-una po dito ang Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation o PAGCOR, ang Smart Philippines, ang Strategic Information Service ng uh, DENR under Yusek Benny Antiporda and of course ang Max ang MX3 pala mga kababayan so uh, without uh, much further ado syempre kailangan muna natin i-emphasize po sa inyo na hindi po patay ang malayang pamamahayag sa Pilipinas lalo na po sa print media sapagat ito po ang latest edition ng Pinoy Expose ng pahayagang remate at syempre po ng police files tonight and uh, with that mga kababayan, ito, tayo muling magpapasalamat kay Senator Bongbong Marcos uh, sa kanya pong pagpapaunlak uh, sa ating uh, imbitasyon. Uh, this would be the third time that the Senator Bongbong is uh, with us dito po sa ating media forum. Siya po actually ang unang nagbukas nitong ano eh, nung Meet the Press Media Forum when we started this about uh, six years ago. Eh? Ganong katagal na po. No? And then, of course, after the 2019 elections, Uh, he was also here, and today, narito pong muli ang ating uh, uh, ginagalang na mambabatas, Senator uh, Bongbong Marcos. But, uh, Senator, before I let you, ano, uh, I let you uh, uh, make your uh, introduction, eh, siyempre po, uh, just to be clear about it, mga kababayan, uh, ano man po ang sabihin ninyo sa amin, we, we, were, uh, we would like to again thank the father of... Uh, Senator Bongbong Marcos, President Ferdinand Marcos, kasi siya po ang nagsalba ng National Press Club. Nung panahon kami po ay talagang hirap na hirap. This would be about 1978. So, it does not mean, of course, na bisita natin si Senator Bongbong. Wala na tayong gagawin, kundi purihin ang purihin itong mamang ito. Diba? <laughs> Siyempre, <laughs> kung meron po kayong mga tanong dyan, mga kapatid sa anak buhay, eh, iba to lang po ninyo through our, siguro, our uh, messenger board oh, dito sa, ano, no, sa Facebook ano, natin. Marami na rin pong sumusunod ngayon. Eh. Yes, oh, and with that, uh, go ahead, Senator uh, Bongbong Marcos, and welcome to the Meet the Press Report to the Nation Media Forum ng National Press Club. Maraming salamat, Paul, and uh, good morning, Joey, at uh, lahat ng mga nakikinig and... Uh, Uh, I hope that uh, this uh, long-awaited uh, appearance with the uh, NPC will uh, bring some light to all of these issues that we are facing right now, lalong-lalo na humaharap tayo sa halalan sa gitna ng pandemya. Uh, I hope to at least give some of my views on, uh, on what is happening. So thank you for the opportunity once again for allowing me to, uh, to discuss with you some of the uh, issues of the day. Yes, at uh, well, uh, unang question si siguro, ano yung pananaw mo dito sa nangyayaring pandemya natin, lalo na sa mga hanay ng mga estudyante? Hanggang ngayon, hirap na hirap sa face-to-face -face, uh, uh, schooling. <coughs> And then, eh. may mga lumalabas na pag-aaral na because of that, or maybe partly because of that, bumababa yung, ano, yung kaalaman ng ating mga estudyante, uh, Senator Bongbong. Yes, I know talaga na, na, isa sa pinakamalaking problema natin yan eh, yung uh, dahil dito sa pandemya, 
uh, is the education. Nakikita ko on, on, on a personal level. Uh, of course, I hear the I hear the uh, the news and kung ano yung mga balibalita, ano yung mga reaction ng tao dito sa mga ginagawang pa, mga paraan uh, na remote learning, uh, which is done essentially through the internet and in some areas, uh, some other way. But ang ma, uh, talaga ay in the end, unfortunately, despite all the best efforts of the DepEd, talagang napakahirap. It is not talagang hindi pareho. Eh. Mabuti pa yung mga mayayaman, nakakapag-hire sila ng sariling tutor, gumagawa sila ng tinatawag na pad na siguro yung mga anim, lima, anim na pamilya nag, uh, nagsasama-sama and they put together a schooling, a kind of schooling program. They hire the teacher. That's, that's good for those people who, who, who can afford it. Mm-hmm. Pero the vast majority cannot. And they simply do not have access. Eh, yung mga iba, simpleng simple lang ang problema. Walang internet. Eh. Mm. Uh, so this is really one of the biggest problems that I think uh, pa- the pandemic has brought us. Yung nakakaawa yung mga bata kasi kahit papaano, iba ang tingin. Eh, kahit, uh, it's a very simple thing. Eh. Uh, yung employer, pagka mag, uh, may mag-apply, Sasabihin yung diploma mo, 2020 o 2021, sasabihin, ay hindi, mahina yan dahil nung panahon ng pandemic yan eh. Baka, baka pinamigay na lang yung diploma na yun. Which, you know, you cannot, you cannot blame uh, people because uh, it, it's really a difficult situation. Uh, and so, parang lugi yung mga bata. I feel very bad. And I'm, I'm talking not only at the tertiary level. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mula sa baba, mula sa maliliit, yung maliliit, grade school hanggang high school, lahat. Uh, actually, sa college level, mabuti-buti. Kasi college na sila eh. So, talagang desidido sila maka- makahanap ng paraan na mag-aaral. But, uh, ilado na yung grade school. I mean, with the, the, the problems that we're facing, lack of equipment, lack of internet signal, we really have to, we really have to um, uh, find a way to start face-to-face again. Because the, even the, the they're, they're becoming, they're becoming, they're, there are big, big beginning to be mental issues uh, for children because they do socialization, uh, all of this, na hindi na miss nila yung mga, mm-hmm. mga kaklase nila. All of these things, it, it's, it's not a simple issue. Uh, but that is one of the things that we are going to have. Eh, kailangan talagang bigyan ng pansin uh, sa gitna nitong pandemya habang hindi pa tayo na, uh, nag-face-to-face na teaching. Maybe we can start thinking about ano eh, yung tawag dito yung mga ibang lugar na mababa naman talaga ang infection rate na hindi naman in danger eh baka naman pwede nating gawin eh yun yun doon muna sa mga lugar na yun mag, mag, mag bumalik na yung face to face na ano na pagturo uh, just to get back into it uh, i know that hindi magiging buo ito hanggang mabakunahan lalo na yung mga bata at saka yung mga teacher natin but uh, in the meantime, I think a good start would be to start looking at the area. Saan ba talaga, saan, baka sakali may mga lugar na pwede na, mm-hmm. na hindi tayo, hindi tayo kailangan mag-alala dahil pwede na, dahil wala namang infection, wala namang cases, nabakunahan lahat ng teacher, nabakunahan yung mga bata. Uh, maybe in those areas we can start it. But uh, the, at a premium ngayon yung bakuna eh. So saan nyo dadalhin? Will you bring it to the frontliners? Will you bring it to the driver ng mga transportation? Will you bring it to the delivery boys ng mga delivery systems natin ngayon? Uh, the, that's why it all boils down to the vaccine. Kailangan natin makakuha na ng vaccine at i-roll out na ng mabuti. Ang, uh, no, that it, it is uh, ako, ako, I feel very badly because it, it, it hits everybody at a personal level uh, this problem with education because it is everybody are, I'm a parent I know many parents uh, I have I have nieces and nephews and may apo na ako. and so you know it's a, it's a, it's a real problem and it's something that we really need to attend to uh, but that would mean ano eh, uh, more uneven uh, development di ba ng ating mga estudyante kasi yes. makakalamang oh. yung mga lugar na mababa ang infection 
Eh, ayun lamang. Eh, wala tayo magagawa. Pero huwag tayo pupunta sa lowest common denominator. Mm-hmm. Subukan natin pagandahin kung ano yung kaya natin pagandahin. Kung may mga lugar na talagang hindi kaya, eh, pagtsatsagaan muna natin itong mga sistema, itong remote learning na tinatawag. Pero uh, I, I feel, I, ang feeling ko is who we, kung sino man ang kaya natin maturuan na ma- ma- mahusay, eh, gawin natin. That's uh, unfortunately the pandemic has brought this has brought this new problem to us. Uh, we just have to work around it. There's no hindi natin wedding tigilan eh. We cannot just wait until everybody is vaccinated. No, it, I, I I I presume hindi tayo aabot sa 106 million na vaccination mm-hmm. na fully vaccinated. So kung aantayin natin yun, eh, mas tado talaga may iiwanan ng ating mga, mga bata. So, we have to start somewhere. Uh, and besides, I think that uh, pagka nag, nag, naging maayos na, and uh, we are more, the system is more, uh, how do you say, how, is, 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 is running better, uh, then I think that uh, magpapantay-panday din yan, makakahabol din yung mga bata. You know, children are very, very... Uh, 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 have have a very very large capacity to adjust so we just have to to do our best um we, ganun naman talaga dito sa pandemic na ito we just have to do our best uh the problems keep arising etong this delta variant this this is <laughs> kala natin nung pebrero marso akala natin medyo gumaganda na eh tapos ito na naman the delta variant and the surge naman and uh, unfortunately it's not happening just to us but to everybody around the world yes uh, speaking of that uh, senator uh, ang Pilipinas ang ating gobyerno yung mga kritiko hindi na wala nang makitang maganda sa approach ng gobyerno dito sa pandemya but uh, how do you assess the performance when when compared to the situation in other countries, even here in uh, ASEAN, no? lalo na sa Indonesia, may mga pati yata mga bata doon, Senator, nabiktaman na rin itong uh, Delta variant. I, I think the, the tama ang mga response ng government. Uh, minsan lang, there, there is a slight confusion once in a while as to what our status is because you know we 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 are all in the middle of uh, of, of collecting data hindi pa kumpleto hindi kagaya ng halimbawa we're talking about another disease we're talking about flu simply mm. oh we have statistics going back what almost 100 years eto we don't have statistics so and the statistics are only now being being put together the data is only now being put together so what we have to do although there's such slight confusion because pa bago bago uh, I think that uh, the the attitude of government uh, right now na basta go back to basics and mm-hmm. that is wearing a mask again, hugas ng kamay, mag social distancing, ingat lahat and everything. Uh, all of those things. Pag nasundan yan, kahit papaano, that will have a good effect. Um, but ang sa aking palagay, the only final uh, final solution to all of this will be vaccines mm-hmm. uh, until we have the full supply of vaccines ang nakikita ko i go around eh umiikot mm-hmm. ako sa iba't ibang lugar the lgus are ready to to dispense the dispense the vaccine the, unfortunately the supply is is is, uh, mm-hmm. uh, is not is not uh, assured so they magbabaksine sila they will go on for one week for two weeks tapos tigil na naman dahil naubusan na mm-hmm. uh, so but Again, that's the that's the ultimate problem. But in the meantime, there are many things that we can do, and the government, I think, is moving in the right direction. Uh, ah. Kasama na pati doon, hindi lamang naglockdown, pero at least nakahanap ng pondo para mag, uh, matuloy yung ayuda. But mm-hmm. of course, the ultimate the ultimate goal is to get people back to work. So that requires vaccination. Uh, that requires some public investment in different sectors of uh, of the economy. Uh, yun ang ating mga kailangan pag-isipan na ngayon habang inaantay natin ang pagdating ng bakuna. Mm. Uh, thank you. Uh, I remember uh, previously naging guest namin dito yung ating mga vaccine experts, uh, uh, Senator, no? And uh, they revealed, particularly si Dr. Lulu Bravo, uh, Director oh, uh, Jove, di ba? They revealed na nung panahon ng daddy mo, nakakagawa na pala tayo ng bakuna no uh, for some uh, 
uh, viruses and the diseases, unfortunately, uh, pagdating nung administrasyon ng mga Aquino, uh, 1986, ito yung kasama sa, ano, kasama sa, kumbaga, eh, nabaliwalang uh, magandang uh, programa. So, do you think uh, it's really high time na ibalik natin yung ganitong kapasidad ng Pilipinas na tayo na yung maggawa ng bakuna natin? Well, kung maalala ninyo, nandiyan na, matagal nang nandiyan yung RITM. Eh. Uh, the, the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine has been there since, uh, what, 30 plus years. Uh, so, meron talaga tayong, meron na, meron na tayong, and then there was in the 80s, there was a, there was a, a, a resurgence in uh, building up our healthcare capacity. Kaya uh, mga ospital, nagtayo tayo mga ospital, mga research institute, uh, we even had a biotech in UPLB. All of these things were already in, are already in place. So, we can just go back, balikan natin to, at lagay na, sabihin natin, bigyan natin ng magandang budget. At uh, mag-hire sila ng mas magaling na tao, mas mag-hire sila yung pinakamagaling. Marami naman talaga tayo magagaling na scientist, scientist. Hindi lang masyado nasusuportahan ng trabaho nila ng pamahalaan. But the pandemic has, has taught us a very, very clear lesson that, that part of uh, the weakness in our in our serv uh, the, in the government services is healthcare, um, but I guess we are not alone in that. I, I guess all the other countries have have, have, have come to that uh, have come to that conclusion. So that has to become part of our future planning. Uh, mm -hmm. If we're going to say, halimbawa, ako, in my mind, I always try to put to put together that hypothetical. Ano bang ano bang mangyayari? Halimbawa, sabihin natin. Completong completo. We have 70 million vaccines sitting in freezers somewhere. Wow. And we had not, hindi na problema yung vaccine. Ano ngayon ang gagawin natin? Where do we, how do we invest public funds? Where do we invest public funds? And how do we invest public funds? To make, to have the best multiplier effect na bubuhayin ulit ang ating ekonomiya. Because what people want, you know, I, I think, I'm sure nakita nyo lahat ng mga survey, Ang unang top of mind talaga, una, walang trabaho. Pangalawa, uh, nagugu, walang pagkain. Pangatlo, poverty. That's the same issue. And that's one, two, and three. Uh, although, tumataas talaga ngayon because of this Delta variant, becoming, it's becoming, people are beginning to truly understand the danger of this Delta variant. So that is, that's, that's moving up in terms of people's uh, concerns. But, uh, you know, we have to get back to that point. Uh, yung talagang ano is we have to get back to the point na there is some there is some promise man lang of jobs for our people so they can get back to work so they can feed their families they can send their children to school all of the normal things that any family any breadwinner in any family thinks about uh, these are the things that we we have to concern ourselves with uh, in the meantime we, the best that we can do, since we hindi pa kompleto ng bakuna natin, is that number one, the information that sa uh, dapat magbigay sa ating mga kababayan uh, tungkol sa bakuna, dahil malamit pa rin ako nakakausap, ay medyo takot pa. Eh. Yes. Mm. Uh, nagdadalawang isip pa. Eh. Uh, we have to convince them that no, it's safe, it's okay. Uh, kulang siguro tayo sa konting uh, communication, sa konting information. information. And secondly, the actual vaccination na mag magawa na natin. And uh, again, it, 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 really, it really revolves around the supply that uh, we are given. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of that, uh, uh, Senator, of course, sabi mo, nag-iikot ka na. Uh, we assume, fully vaccinated ka na. Di ba? <laughs> oh, na, natapos na kami. Nag, uh, we had our vaccines in San Juan. Mm. Uh, and Sinovac ang binigay sa amin. Uh, mm -hmm. Maganda naman. Uh, Siyempre, ibang pakiramdam pag nabakunahan ka na because uh, lalakas sa loob mong lumabas, oh, you feel better about it. Hindi eh. mm -hmm. ka laging takot uh, na baka tamaan ka. So, it, it's much better uh, that, uh, that as, as soon as I got my second shot, nakakaikot na nga ako because I, I wanted to see, syempre, uh, there's the political uh, side to it, but, you know, I wanted to see what's the, what is the situation in COVID dun sa mga iba't ibang lugar, number one. Number two, ano ba talaga ang kailangan ninyo? What mm -hmm. is it that people need? Mm -hmm. So that we can, so that government or public servants can respond to the need 
And mm. that was the reason that I, I thought. And of course, you know, we have to ta touch base with our friends, our leaders, our, ala our allies in uh, politika dahil papunta na nga tayo sa halalan, sa kampanya. Mm. Uh, that, so that has to be attended to also. So ganyan ang aking ginagawa. And I think thus far, um, we have been uh, doing generally a good job uh, when, when, uh, in, the in the pandemic response. Uh, perhaps there are little adjustments that could be made. I am talking about on a local, on a local level. But uh, otherwise, I think uh, we've uh, we've done as well, if not better, than many of our neighbors. Uh, mm -hmm. Yung mga dating sikat na sikat na sinasabi ang galing galing ng response ganon. Tinamaan din eh. Yes, yes. Uh, Nagkasearch din eh. So talagang walang ligtas dito sa COVID na ito, at lalo na dito sa Delta variant. Mm -hmm. uh, at nabanggit mo na rin lang yung uh, ano, uh, uh, alamin ng uh, pulso ng ating mga kababayan eh siguro punta tayo dito sa ano uh, yung alam kong inaabangan ng mga kapatid natin sa media na tanong uh, uh, senator uh, pero before that ito o mga kapatid sa media hindi po kami pro Marcos ha? pero ito pong ating respond dito sa ating thread ama eh ito, kagaya oh, nito. Marcos, ano? <laughs> BBM lang sa 2022. BBM all the way. BBM 2022. Marcos pa rin 2022. Sinusulong. But Sir Bongbong, Marcos is still for the next 17th Philippine President. <laughs> Ba't ganito ito? Binabasa lang po namin ito. Binabasa lang po namin ito, mga kapatid. Ito naman po ay mapabasa rin ninyo, yung mga kapatid natin sa media. Hindi po kami nagpo-post na ito. Ito, Marcos Loyalist, Hong Kong, watching. Good morning, Apo. Marcos pa rin, 2022. Eh, puro BBM 2022 itong nababasa namin dito. Senator, so... Ano ba talaga ang plano mo for 2022? Oo, hindi well, natin eh, iwasan ang tanong ito. Ito na yun eh. Oo, oh, wala. Hindi, hindi. Bata, bakit? Eh, talagang uh, kailangan na uh, pag-isipan na mabuti yan. Well, I, I, I'm certainly going to run uh, for, uh, for a national position. But, uh, you know, I, I, I always say, siguro narinig nyo na sa akin ito, pero uulitin ko that ang payo ko tayo talaga sa akin dahil lalong-lalo na sa politika is... To, ano, is to keep my options open. And this is a very funny, poli uh, very strange and unusual political situation that we find mm -hmm. ourselves in. Uh, because it's an election in the middle of the pandemic. And maraming iba-iba. Something very simple lang yung ano. Uh, how do we campaign? Uh, how mm -hmm. do we do the, what, we, what we normally do? Hindi na pwede yung mga dating mga lalaking rally, etc. So we have to find something else. May tayo, tingnan nyo. Imbis na nandyan ako sa, sa NPC, uh, we have to do the Zoom. Uh, yes, oh. All of these things are, are coming to come into account. And that is why the picture for the next election is relatively unclear. Mm -hmm. uh, hindi pa tayo nakaka... Hindi pa, tayo, hindi pa natin nakikita kung sino ba talaga ang tatakbo, sino, ano yung tatakbuhan nila, ano yung dala nilang partido. Uh, you know, and all of those, uh, all of those uh, different elements that usually are generally in place already mm. by now. By, well, at least... The, 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 the other time that it was not so was uh, nung yung pagtakbo ni Noy Noy uh, because he just became an, uh, he just became a candidate in August of the, mm -hmm. previous, the year before the election. But nonetheless, there is the pandemic that changes everything. And mm -hmm. then uh, the front runners, uh, nobody has declared. Hindi, <laughs> uh, nag-declare nag, nag na si, you know, si Ping Lakson at si oh, you know, Soto. Soto. Oh, ang talaga ang talaga oh yeah si si Tito Sen si uh, sen, uh, si Senate President uh, siya talaga ang pinakauna actually mm. na major candidate na nagdeklara that he was running for vice president under NPC. Mm -hmm. Now Senator Ping uh, recently has uh, made moves that it's become clear that he is running. But that is only that's only a, what, a week or so, two weeks old. Manny Pacquiao although he has not proclaimed uh, it looks like he is planning to run. Mm -hmm. So, ganon ganon pa, and then the question of what uh, uh, Mayor Sara will do 
and what our president will do. Mm-hmm. If he's talagang itututuo ba niya yung kanyang pag-vice president? O si Sara, tutuloy ba? Hindi. What is the what is the real story? So, although marami tayong haka-haka, maraming uh, spekulasyon, uh, the, 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 the truth of the matter is nothing is really set in stone yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, marami tayong nak- nakikita that we are we see sa pahayagan. Ah. Na sinasabi, nagkaayusan na. Nagka, tapos the next day, no, there's a denial, hindi totoo, ganyan. Actually, Senator, eh, meron kang picture kasama mo si Mayor Sara. Eh, yun, bumaha ang social media sa, ano, yun na raw ang tandem. Eh, well, eh, bakit hindi? Bakit hindi? Well, that mm-hmm. is always a possibility. All of these ba? things are a possibility. Uh, that is why, precisely, ang sinasabi ko, I keep my options open. And uh, we'll see, we'll see as the time goes. We have, what, eight weeks to go? Se- eight and a half? Uh, seven and a half? Balapit mm-hmm. na talaga. By, by the way, Senator, si ano, Mayor Isko Moreno, nag-resign na sa NUP. Uh, lilipat oh, na sa oh, partido. Oh, partido siya. Pero, oh, oh, so, so yan, indikasyon so, din yan. Uh, Di ba? Kung bakit siya aalis ng NUP, eh, lilipat ng partido. Ganun. Sabi diba? din sa takbong nasyonal, ano? Oh, baka nasyonal position din daw ang tatakbo na ito, Senator. Mare, mare. Na lumalabas ang pangalan niya sa mga survey. Lumalabas na, na ma, 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 very active ang kanyang, uh, ang kanyang PR. So, siyempre, there's movement there. But you have to, kaya nga, you have to assess. Kasi maaari pa rin, hindi siya tutuloy eh. So, hmm. we don't know. We don't know. We, ah. our, our best information is uh, is not clear as to what anybody is doing. Everyone's keeping their cards close to their chest. So, I think I will have to uh, do the same. <laughs> uh, uh, Senator, uh, balikan lang natin yung naging meeting nyo ni uh, Mayor Sara. And earlier, you said uh, you're open to uh, any uh, possibility. Nung, nung nagkita ba kayo, paano, nag, nag, nagmerienda lang ba kayo, paano, uh, pinag-usapan nyo na rin ano, magiging kombinasyon sa next year? Hindi, hindi namin na pag-usapan yung mga kombinasyon. Basta tayo hmm. tatanong ka, ano ba talagang plano? Ano bang gusto oh, okay. mong gawin? No? Sige, basta sabi ko, ako mangangampa niya ako, iikot ako. Kasi kahit anong gawin ko, kailangan ko isolidify ulit yung ating mga kaibigan, ating mga kaalyado. Hmm. And, uh, but let's, yun na lang, let's just always be in touch. Let's always talk kung ano yung iniisip mo, ano yung iniisip ko. Uh, you know, that, because that, that's really the, the only way to, to do it. It's not something that you decide hindi naman magdi-decide dahil nagkita kami, pinuntahan namin sa Davao sa birthday niya, eh, magdi-decide na doon, hindi pa. Eh, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa siya nag, ano, nagdi-declara. Meron pa nga yung, yung mag-ama, hindi nga na ma- maunawaan kung ano ba talagang usapan nila. <laughs> no, uh, so, yeah, and you know, we will never really know because we're not privy to all of these discussions. But uh, those are the things that are... Ver- the, yun ang mga variables na hinaharap natin ngayon eh. Kaya uh, mahirap talaga makapag-decide. At uh, kaya nga, balikan ko na naman yung paulit-ulit kung sinasabi, I will keep my options open for as long as I can. Ayun. But uh, ito, may isang... After my question, mga kapatid, no, ay uh, no, open na po. Itas nyo lang ang kamay ninyo uh, para kung may tanong kayo kay uh, Senator uh, Bongbong Marcos. But uh, before... I post my question. Ang nga pala, uh, Senator, uh, gusto naming pasalamatan yung isang partner mo, si Erwin Tulpo. No? At uh, medyo na-delay nga ang pagbubukas namin itong Zoom site natin dito dahil nagdala si Erwin Tulpo ng 400 sacks of rice para sa mga miyembro ng media at saka po apat na pong lata, kahon ng sardinas. Ito po yung pamumudmud natin sa mga miyembro po natin bilang ayuda during the period of lockdown. So again, sa uh, Erwin Tulpo and of course, AXIS party list, Congressman Eric Yap, kapatid na ninyo at Aduran and Congresswoman Tulpo, salamat po Para sa po inyong sa patuloy na pagsuporta at pagmamalasakit sa National uh, Press Club. And ang question ko, Senator, is this, uh, okay, iba ang sitwasyon natin ngayon, ah, uh, What do you think should be the issues na dapat talakayin ngayong palapit na ang halalan, oh, uh, politika, oh, ekonomiya, oh, gano'n? Sa, saan ba dapat isentro ng mga kandidato ang usapin uh, pagdating nitong halalan natin? Well, ang, ang halalan natin is in May 2022. 
Yes. And uh, presumably, yung ating uh, vaccination program eh, talagang tumatakbo na ng mabuti. Mm -hmm. So we really have to be, ngayon pa lang, kailangan na nating iniisip what are we going to do about the economy. Paano natin bubuhayin ulit ang ekonomiya? Paano yes. natin pasisiglahin ulit ang economic activity dito sa Pilipinas? Now, the, it, is, uh, it is again an unusual situation dahil uh, dati, uh, medyo pag pinag-uusapan ng Philippine economy, it is like a, uh, an economy that is, uh, uh, that is uh, specific to the Philippines. The, yun ang situation sa Pilipinas, ito yung mga dapat gawin. Uh, and there, are, there were times that we can count on the help of other big rich countries. Uh, the, the U.S., the Japan, uh, even China, we can always count on, on some kind of help. Now, it's not necessarily the case. Uh, we have become a, a, a more global economy mm -hmm. and therefore we cannot assess or we cannot uh, analyze the, uh, what, what, what uh, the economy will bring uh, on a very insular, insular basis. We have to really look at what's happening with the global economy and the situation that they're in and uh, how much we can take part in uh, their resurgence or their recovery. Mm -hmm. In any case, ang sa akin palagay, ang pinakamalaking, ang pinakamalaking issue na dapat talagang pag-usapan ay ano mo ang post-COVID uh, plano para sa ekonomiya, para mm -hmm. mag, mag, magdala ng trabaho. Para, you know, I, I, I always uh, use a, as a very basic example, you know, every year we graduate mga 1.2 million na graduate. So that's 1.2 joining the ranks of unemployed. Mm -hmm. We have ju we will return, I think, uh, approximately approaching 600, 700,000 um, uh, OFWs who will have to come back because nawala yung tambaho nila. Not only were they, uh, not only were did they lose their jobs, the jobs that they previously had they have disappeared. Hindi na, hindi na baka hindi, yung iba hindi na babalik. So we have to find employment for that. Bukod pa doon, yung unemployed na talaga mm -hmm. uh, and underemployed. So that is that I think should be the the, 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 the focus. And how do we um, get the economy moving? And in my view, uh, the of course the, the large corporations and the big businesses have a, have, a, have a role to play. But para sa akin is just get money to order into the hands of ordinary people. Uh, and I'm not talking about ayuda, uh, just a, yung tinatawag na cash transfer na basta namimigay tayo ng pera because we cannot support that uh, much longer. So what mm -hmm. I'm trying to do is it's actually think of it, we must think of it as a public investment in certain areas. And you're talking about uh, yung medium and small term enterprises because they still comprise a huge majority. At uh, napaka-importante kasi kung may, may hawak kang tao na pera, bibili siya ng... Kahit na anong, bibili ng pagkain o bibili ng kailangan gamit, magbabayad ng rent. All of this, the money enters into the economy and iikot yan. Because yung pinabayaran niya will have also money in their pocket and it slowly, slowly, kahit mahina pa yung multiplier effect, lalaki at lalaki yan habang mas malaki ang ating ekonomi yan. The, the question now is, is, what areas of the economy do we invest in? What mm -hmm. are the areas that are going to be significantly uh, larger or more active post-pandemic than it ever was pre-pandemic? So we have to rethink uh, our view of the economy, but simply because the, 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 the terrain uh, for all businesses of any kind uh, has changed, has changed completely. Uh, even just the physical requirements now of having a mask, of putting up uh, uh, shields in, in the offices, mga testing, all of these things have to be taken into account. Uh, these are added costs that uh, either the government will bear or corporations will bear. Uh, now, but, and then, what are the areas that are going to be very important in the near future? Mm -hmm. So there, there is the, the, the ayuda is, is, is very important. Ang dami talaga natulungan ng ayuda. Uh, kung hindi, kung wala yan, eh, talagang wala na makain ng mga tao, kawawa naman talaga. Kaya napakalaking bagay na kahit papano, nakakatulog tayo. Pero in the long term, we really have to be thinking, how do we provide those jobs? How do we create those jobs? How, where do we direct our public investment? And I think 
the the the, the buzzword now yung kanilang laging sinasabi is digitize we have to digitize the entire economy well i don't know about the entire economy but a large part of the economy is going to be digitized. Many of the people na nakasubok na ng work from home, eh, hindi na babalik yan sa dating gawi. Mm-hmm. Uh, sabihin, eh, pwede naman pala. Eh, pasok tayo once a week, twice a week. Hindi na kailangan araw-araw na pumapasok kasi yung ibang trabaho, kaya naman natin gawing from home. Uh, meron na akong... My, 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 my son is in Singapore, is working as a coder. He, he writes code for, uh, the, he works for a government corporation in, in Singapore. And he, walang problema yung work from home sa kanya. Uh, my wife is a lawyer. Marami siyang magawang trabaho na, na galing, galing sa, gal, uh, na, na, na kaya sa, sa, sa bahay lang, work from home ulit. So that whole process of working will change. And we have to adjust well and quickly. The, the first thing, is that uh, siguro yung build, build, build na ginagawa ng pamalan, uh, isama natin dun yung internet uh, because that is going to be a critical, that is going to be as critical as roads and bridges or it has already become as critical as roads and bridges in terms of infrastructure necessity or development dito sa ating bansa. And we are still, fo- we, have, we have still, we have fallen behind. Uh, for whatever reason, from the uh, with the other countries, and uh, uh, siguro yun ang talagang dapat nating tignan na mabuti, because mas mabili ang fl- mas mabilis ang flow ng information, mas mabilis ang ang ang, ang trabaho ang nagagawa natin, and all of, all of these things, uh, you know, uh, all of these things have become so important, and we have to adjust our our thinking, uh, whereas before. We say infrastructure, roads, bridges, buildings. Now we have to talk about infrastructure. We have to talk about power. We have to really go back to basics. Um, we have to go back. For example, hindi na natin iniisip noon yung food supply. Dati naman may pagkain. Ngayon, na, na, napaalala sa atin na medyo naghihirap ang ating agricultural sector. At pag hindi na tayo makaasa sa ibang bansa para sa supply natin, hindi lamang sa palay, hindi lamang sa bigas, kundi sa iba't ibang produkto. Uh, you, we have to be able, there's a strategic reason why our own agricultural uh, system, has, uh, sector has to be strong. Uh, has to be strong and that is, uh, that is a strategic, uh, of strategic importance for the strength of the nation, of the, of the country. So mm-hmm. agri. Now we talked about education a little bit. That's uh, for me, as I always said, para sa akin yan ang pinakamahalagang serbisyo na idinudulot ng gobyerno sa taong bayan, sa lalo na sa mga kabataan. Uh, na talagang binigyan tayo ng napakalaking problema nitong COVID kung paano gagawin. Kailangan natin balikan yan, kailangan natin isipin yan kung mm-hmm. paano gagawin yan. And then, now the the new uh, well not so new it has always been there but it has been highlighted by the pandemic is healthcare. Uh, we haven't the government has not built any major hospitals since 1986, mm-hmm. and that is a long time. We, oh. have, we have we have been waiting for for that a long time, and that weakness has been highlighted by the pandemic. So balikan natin. We have to start uh, strengthening the research institutes. Yung uh, suggestion or the, the initiative of the president of putting a, a center for disease control, yung parang sa United States, okay? tama rin yun para may overarching na organization na talagang naghahanda, hinahanda yung mga iba't ibang, iba't ibang ahensya, iba't ibang ospital, uh, para sa susunod, after COVID, eh, lahat, ang dami nagsasabi, ba, hindi pa ito yung huli. Baka meron pang darating. So we have to be ready for that. But yes. as a, as a, eh, let's take this oppor- uh, as, a, as an opportunity to generally improve our healthcare system. Mm-hmm. And um, aside from building the large institutions, uh, ibaba natin sa grassroots level. Kasi doon tayo nahirapan. Eh. Doon, hindi tayo nakapag-testing na mabuti. Hindi tayo nakapag-contact tracing na mabuti. Because when it get, got to the ground level, mahina ang, mahina ang organization. So... Uh, we're talking about RHUs, we're talking about uh, uh, rural health units, we're talking about smaller hospitals, clinics that are manned maybe two, two times a week, three times a week for the minor cases uh, that will free up the big hospitals for the major cases. You know, mm-hmm. mga, you know, mga, uh, dati na, dapat nating mga iniisip. 
so that it and then the um it, na na ano nga ako because naalala ko yung slogan sa 60s ano pa eh uh, rise uh, rise schools and bridges which is back we're back to that rise agri schools yung education natin bridges yung infrastructure so we really have to that we really have to go back to basis, uh, basics uh, so that we are more robust pagdating ng sakali ng another economic crisis or even a pandemic again uh, like like uh, we have we are now going through so those palagay ko those are the areas that we have to be thinking about now mm-hmm. where where do we direct our longer term uh, investment uh, that is something that the economic managers have to have to analyze and assess for us dapat isipin nila saan tayo dapat pupunta saan bang mga magiging saan ang magiging uh, uh, ni, saan magiging market o saan yung mga giging demand na pwede nating i-fill dito sa Pilipinas yeah, we we have to be we have to be because our, our the, the the old economics is that you just follow where uh, the markets are. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ngayon, in, uh, like in other countries, they, they, they create the markets and mm-hmm. they make uh, and, and make themselves ready for certain markets or they anticipate the markets. If they don't create it, they anticipate it well. Kaya pinaghahandaan nila. Uh, so that is that's maybe what we need to be doing. Should we be training our people in IT? Should we be training our people in uh, agri? Should we be training our people in other other disciplines? Uh, yun ang mga dapat nating isipin ngayon. Those are the issues, and that all boils down to pasisiglahin ang ekonomiya para magkaroon ang trabaho ng trabaho ang karamihan ng tao. Thank you, Senator Mogang. Uh, all this time si eh, naggagawa ka na ng uh, plano no para for uh, next year. Anyway, may nagtas ng kamay si Pangulong Lakay no Gonzalo no. Pero meron lang tanong dito uh, Senator ah uh, ito uh, kindly ask Sir BBN if he favors the return to the government control of public utilities dahil yan ang isang daing ngayon ng mga ordinaryong tao. At uh, Sir BBM, palagay niyo po ba dapat magdagdagan pa ang suporta ng pamalaan sa ating mga sektor tulad ng mga Pilipino inventors para makatulong din sa ating ekonomiya? Ano bang plano? Yun bang plano ni BBM kasama din po yung planong naiwan noon ng ama niya? Well, uh, yung, yung mga... Actually, last, first, uh, last question first. Yung... Uh, yung mga planong iniwan ng aking ama are now already being used mm-hmm. uh, at uh, gina, binabalikan kasi yun ma, 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 talagang ang planning ng uh, nung, nung panahon niya ay talagang very very forward thinking eh. if yes, you oh. if you see may, uh, they, they were planning 20 30 years in advance eh, para hindi na kailangan isipin like we, we were talking about C5 as far as I know hanggang yes. C12 C12 ang plano diyan eh yes uh, oh. And then the power development of power—that's the other—that's the other critical thing. Uh, there were many, many uh, uh, plans na para hindi lang after the Bataan nuclear power plant, uh, magpapa, mag, mag, simply magahanap patay na sources of power. Hindi pa masyadong ma, hindi pa masyadong importante noon yung mga renewable sources of energy like wind and the solar. And all the other ones that are coming that are coming through the pipeline, uh, yan ang dapat isama ngayon sa mga plano. So you cannot take it uh, yung tinatawag na cut and paste. Kailangan talagang although tama in concept, kailangan the concept has to be applied with the new technologies that we have available. So uh-huh. that 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 would be that would be the approach there. Uh, what were the other questions? Ano yung una? Uh, yung isang question eh, actually, di ba, if you remember yung ginawa ng daddy mo noon, yung mga strategic sectors, tubig, kuryente, uh, jet power generation, particularly, mm-hmm. dapat talaga yan ay nasa gobyerno. But after 1986, we know what happened. Mm-hmm. Pinarivitized na lahat ito. Uh, so mm-hmm. ngayon, ang mga tao ay nasa mercy na nitong mga private uh, entities na ito. So, ang question is, uh, would you favor na ibalik sa gobyerno itong mga strategic industries? I absolutely agree. Dahil uh, kailangan na that is... Uh, pub- public utilities, oh, indeed, that is, uh, I, I see it as a service. Eh. Uh, so, yes, government should be able to 
uh, to, to even government should be allowed even to subsidize it if they have to para hindi magtaasan ng presyo like tignan natin yung presyo ng langis at saka all the all the all the attendant products no all the derivative products from from oil uh, yung OPSF dapat ibalik yeah. yan uh, that is the oil price stabilization fund what was that the mm -hmm. biggest the, the three big uh, oil companies would uh, uh, contribute to the o o o o o PCF, uh, so that merong pondo ang gobyerno pag gumagalaw ang presyo ng langis. Mm -hmm. Para kahit na susunod, kahit, kahit anong gawin mo, susunod at susunod ka sa presyo ng langis. Pero, hindi bigla-bigla. Yes. Oh. Makapag-adjust ang tao, makapag-adjust ang mga negosyo, para kahit papano, the, the shock is not too much. And kung baka kaya, baka, baka, baka tataas, baka naman bumaba ulit, in the time na tumaas, eh, nagbayad yung gobyerno para para hindi na hindi na masyadong gumalaw. And that's that stability is good for 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 business. Because if you ask a businessman, what do you want? Uh, the one thing that they want is stability para makapagplano mm. sila na matagal. And uh, that is that's the kind of thing that we have to do. Power generation is becoming critical. Then I think bubo uh, ay magiging magiging uh, sal salvation natin yan is again technology because the new technologies are really well, coming to the fore kung magagamit natin dito sa Pilipinas uh, nagsimula na kami dun sa wind sa Ilocos Norte uh, but uh, nagbabago yung economics eh parang nang humahabol na yung solar ngayon and mas bagay sa Pilipinas yan kasi kahit saan yung wind hindi mo pwedeng ilagay kahit saan yan eh mm -hmm. namimili ng lugar yan eh although mm -hmm. uh, solar sa Pilipinas lahat naman kahit pa paano may araw so we can put it anywhere so all of these things have to be have to be taken into account and only government actually uh, only government can take that uh, substantial step in redesigning our entire power structure the power the, the structure of our power supply Mm -hmm. um, the the, uh, the those are those who are those who are the long term plans. Uh, we have to go back. For example, na, 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 na nandito na tayo sa power. It's a complicated issue. Nandito na tayo sa power. Ang nangyari kasi uh, the evolution of the power generation and supply. Uh, hinati sa tatlo, hindi ba sa generation, sa transmission at saka, sa distribution. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and all of those are completely separate one from the other. And I think the, the intent of the, the, the government was to uh, make sure that no, not one, no one entity controls the entire, uh, the entire system. So that's something that we have to look into because the original concept of the electrical cooperatives has changed very much. Uh, the original concept is that the members of uh, the co uh, electrical cooperatives in the provinces, eh, silang me ang mga member ng mga consumer. So sila nagmamando. Uh, yun lamang after uh, 86 napalitan yes. mm. ang, uh, ang, ang nature ng electrical cooperatives naging political yes. uh, oh. naging, politi naging political yung mga uh, namumuno doon and they got into this uh, in, into this problem na yung nangutang sila ng nangutang sa NPC National Power so lahat ng mala lahat ng uh, pa ng uh, 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 ating mga distributor, which are the cooperatives, the provincial electrical cooperatives, ay nalubog sa utang. And pinapasa yung bayad dun sa utang, pinapasa, pinapasa sa tao. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why the, pri the prices, are, the, the cost rather, of electricity is going up. Which mm -hmm. brings us to another problem. Uh, FDI, for, uh, uh, foreign direct investment. Uh, how many times have we heard from potential investors na sinasabi nila eh, eh pambira, pambira pan, gusto namin sa Pilipinas dahil magkaibigan tayo at mahusay naman ang workforce well trained, masipag, etc. Yun lamang yung power. Yes. Kayong pinakamahal. Tapos mm. unreliable pa. Mm. brown out hindi namin patakbuhin yung malalaking makina na nasisira kung ganito. Kung hindi mag-brown out pa, bago-bago ang bultahe. All of these, all of these problems that we are facing. So that even that reduces already our our uh, attractiveness to foreign investment. Mm. So it, it really, you know, we, we really have to go back to basics and build the economy back up again. Mm -hmm. uh, not only because of the pandemic, but also because of different political forces that have been oh, that have been 
uh, acting upon the economy that are not that are not beneficial to the economy <laughs> politically. Eh. Oh, uh, so kailangan natin balikan yung original concept na pagagandahin natin hindi we do not accommodate the political uh, uh, favor we do not uh, we have to we have to put that aside uh, because if we keep doing that uh, it pam, na, na, mas nagiging magulo because mm. every every even even at the local level every new mayor will change everything every new governor will change everything mm. every new president will change everything so we have to be more consistent uh, in our in our approach to development. Ayan. Uh, what you're saying is uh, sa pagpapatakbo ng ating ekonomiya at saka negosyo, tanggalan na natin ang politika, Senator. Well, yan ang hala rin nating lahat. Pero hindi, siyempre, hindi mo may iwasan yan. Politics is a large part of, the, of, of uh, how, the, how the economy runs. But mm. uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, you cannot make economic uh, uh, decisions based solely on politics or you cannot uh, choose people based solely on politics yes. uh, you you need you need good people and we have good people ang dami nating magaling na tao uh, mm -hmm. who are willing to, to to make sacrifices kahit ang mga malaki nang kinikita nila ngayon they're willing to make sacrifices para tulungan ang gobyerno mm -hmm. para tulungan ang Pilipinas and those are the kind of people we have to look for uh, kahit na hindi natin kasama hindi natin kapartido kahit hindi natin kalyado yun ang mga tao na kahit papano we have to bring into government and allow them to do their work and uh, bring the benefits of their good work to the, to the, to the, to the country Ay, pa parang yung ginawa ni Pangulong Marcos noon na si Cesar Birata uh, Prime Minister eh, technocrat talaga yun di ba? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, anyway uh, si Pangulong Lakay kanina pa to mukhang oh, naikinip na oh. Oh, sige, sige, go ahead, uh, Lakay. Totog Bong, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Iigyan ko na kasi isang milyon yung, isang milyon na nag-aatal magtanong eh. <laughs> isang milyon. Ano eh, ang, ang sabi niyo, may, may mga options kayong iniisip. Ang sabi ba sa options yan na yan eh, yung pagtagbo bilang vice president or is it presidency or nothing? Uh, Senator Bong. Pag Huwag naman siguro yung nothing, dahil yung nothing, eh, para mag-retire na ako, napaka, napakaagal naman ako mag-retire. Uh, huwag naman yung nothing. Uh, you know, I, I, as I said, uh, in, in real terms, I have, the, I have many, many options, national, uh, even local, nandiyan pa rin yan. Uh, but I, uh, sa ngayon, I, I'm really uh, hoping to maintain, I really want to maintain my presence in the, in the, in the, at the national level. So, palagay ko, eh, uh, all, all, as I said, all of that is, uh, is uh, on the table at uh, pwedeng pag-usapan. Pero yung VP, Vice President, hindi, hindi kasama. VP, I'm sorry? Yung pagiging Vice President, hindi kasama. Ah, wala, wala akong, wala akong dinidiscount. Eh, wala akong sinasabing oh, yeah, no. hindi pwede. Oo. Oh, mm. oh. Uh, eh, siguro, eh, depending on the situation, in my heart of hearts, meron akong preference, pero uh, we'll see. I mean, mm -hmm. kuminsan, things don't, eh, alam mo, matagal na ako dito sa pamumulitika eh. Palagay ko, hindi na, hindi na dapat magulat kasi may biglang may mangyayari, may magbabago. So that's why you cannot discount anything outright. Nasasabi mo, ah, imposible yan. Oh, ito hindi mm -hmm. kinagaw eh. Yeah, we, we, that's that's not uh, I, that's not my approach to the to the situation. But, but, but uh, pa follow up question, naman ako, Senator. Ah, uh, oh, well. uh, ano to eh? Of course, uh, dahil nga ma marami ka ring plano, you mentioned na uh, open, lahat, all options are uh, open. Siyempre, meron kang mga internal studies or survey na I'm sure ginagawa ng kampo mo, no? Ah, uh, so. It, ito kasi yung mga indicator, di ba? Kung saan best suited yung galing mo, yung uh, uh, abilidad mo. Uh, me meron ka lang mga ganito mga surveys, uh, Senator? Well, uh, very simple pa lang ang mga surveys because it's very hard, hindi, hindi pa makapag-assess. Mm -hmm. ang, ang katotohanan actually sa tingin ko, yung mga survey ngayon, na sinasabi, who is your preference for president? Mm -hmm. Hindi pa na, ang tao talagang hindi, hanggat uh, araw na na pagboboto or at least one week before or soon yung malapit talaga sa na oras na magboboto 
Uh, hindi pa iniisip sinong iboboto ko. Parang sino sino naiisip ko, sino yung nagugustuhan mm-hmm. ko. Ang ang reading ko sa ano, sa mga survey at nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat na kahit pa paano hindi hindi niyo hindi niyo ako nakakalimutan is uh, ang reading ko at this early stage is that parang assessment yun ng tiwala ng tao sa iyo eh. mm-hmm. and that's how that's how I, I I read it and that's how I that's how I take it so sa ngayon uh, uh, that that uh, all of these uh, very rough surveys are president vice president senator uh, but all all of these all of these things all of these things are being surveyed not only by myself but everybody else so pero confusing din ang survey. It also depends how the survey was run, all of these things. So that's why ang tendency ko usually is to go go, go out and talk to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, alamin ba talaga, ito, maganda, maganda yung numero ko dito, totoo ba ito? Talaga bang nandiyan kayong mga supporter ko? Uh, so that is, uh, that, that is how I, I, I assess the situation. Uh, of course, we rely a great deal on surveys, pero hindi lang yun. Uh, ang dapat uh, tignan. Uh, 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 sa mabuti naman, sa tagal ko nang uh, namumuliti ka, uh, marami na tayong naging kaibigan, marami na rin tayong naging kaalyado. Sila ang mga linalapitan ko. Ano yung tingin nyo? Ano dito sa lugar ninyo? What is yun? Ikaw, mm-hmm. anong plano mo? Tatakbo ka pa bang mayor? Tatakbo ka bang mga governor? Sinong lalaban sa'yo? All of these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's how I assess it. So, Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not uh, it's not really just surveys at this point. Mm-hmm. I think yung mga surveys at this point very general lang yan eh. Anong iniisip ninyo? Anong inaalala ninyo? Sino yung nakikita ninyo madalas sa television? Sino yung nagugustuhan ninyo? Sino yung ayaw ninyo? Ano yung nagugustuhan ninyo? Ano yung hindi niyo gusto? It's still a very very uh, how do you say general kind of assessment. Uh, mm-hmm. so I do my own detailed assessment and uh, so far naman, mukha namang maganda. Mukha namang yung uh, kagaya ng sabi ko, eh, natutuwa naman ako na yung tiwala sa akin ay nandiyan pa. At mm-hmm. uh, yung mga nagtitiwala sa amin ay nandiyan pa. Yan. Uh, thank you. Uh, before I pass on kay, sa TV5, kay Dave, uh, Dale De Vera yung ano, question. Ha? Mga comment lang ako, Sen. Kasi alam mo, sinda Tito Sen, sinda Senator Soto, Mm-hmm. Tsaka si Ping Lacson, uh, ang parang survey nila, nag-iikot na rin sila, by the way, ha? mukhang mm-hmm. nakilalamang na itong mga ito. In the guise of uh, public consultation, eh. siyempre, eh, senador, eh. uh-huh. di ba? So nakakapag-ikot sila. At uh, parang ang one of the factors na nagkumbinsi sa kanilang tumakbo, eh, napakainit daw ng tama, tama si pagtanggap sa kanila. Eh. Tama si Senador Bongbong din, eh. siya na mismo mag-survey sa sarili niya. Mm-hmm. Kung totoo ba talaga survey na ito? <laughs> Hindi, yun niya, sinda Tito, sinda Tito Soto, uh, sinda Tito Sen, yun niya eh, Senator Bong, Bongbong eh, ang init daw kasi ng pagtanggap sa kanila, oh, kaya oh. yun, based on their uh, face-to-face public consultation, eh, nap- napupursahan nila, pwede na, pwede na, uh, ganun din mga kainit, kumbaga ang magiging pagtanggap siya. Ganun, ganun lang talaga ang magiging assessment po, you have to... Uh, you, you have to you have to make that kind of as kaya tama ikala kaya ako ay eh, talagang pin, uh, hangat maari pinupuntahan ko ang tao pinupuntahan ko yung mga leader eh. mm-hmm. uh, at sa pag-ayo pag-iikot ko syempre uh, ang una kong pinupuntahan yung mga dati dati pa nating kasamahan and so we always have a very good discussion. Eh, pinaprangka naman ako. Sabi mo, mahina ka dito. Or, eh, kulang ka dito. Hindi na gusto yung ginawa mo dito. Or whatever. So, mm-hmm. it, it, so, it's more important than looking at the service. Kasi, detalyado eh. Mm-hmm. At ako, uh, laki ako sa local government eh. Kaya malaking uh-huh. tiwala ako sa mga LGUs. Malaking tiwala ako sa mga executive. Pag uh-huh. sinabi nilang ganito, kadalasan, lalo na kung kaibigan mo talaga, eh, kadalasan totoo yun. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya kita ipanalo rito. Oh, Ang mm-hmm. totoo yan. Uh, mahirapan tayo dito dahil sa ganito ganyan. Uh, mm-hmm. Totoo yun. So these are the assessments that you really have to make. You cannot, mm-hmm. you cannot, mahirap talaga, ma- very little information is really provided by a nationwide survey mm-hmm. in terms of the specifics of a candidate. Uh, yun talaga, uh, you, have to go to do, you have to go to each area. Or sa, sa region, sa whatever, region 1, 2, 3. Or 
uh, maayos pa diyan. Oh, punta naman tayo sa Region 8. Oh, punta mm-hmm. naman tayo sa Region Region 6, baba tayo Region 12, Region 10, Region 9. You have to you have to hindi pwede yung the uh, may kasabihan nga, I'm sure everyone has heard it all politics is local. Uh, ang 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 national na takbo is really many many local local uh, elections being run at the same time for you uh, and the issues in different places are different the people the issues against yung tao mo yung sumusuporta sa may issue yan na local na kailangan alam mo mm-hmm. uh, all of these things so it's a, you know we approach it very uh, in a in a very grassroots level because mm-hmm. uh, as i said Eh, Diyan talaga ako Diyan ako natuto talaga eh, pagka, yung, pagka, yeah, Being a congressman And being a governor That's really where I learned How the How the how politics truly works Down at the grassroots level And that's the point at which it matters mm-hmm. um, Even Like You know The, the, the parties may, na, na, Nag-ibang role ng parties Dito sa Pilipinas eh. uh, And uh, The The a uh, partnership of uh, alliance with a certain party is not necessarily a guarantee of the votes mm-hmm. uh, to, to bring that hindi hindi mo pwedeng wholesale uh, you have to really go down and uh, and, and and talk to the different er- that your your people in the different areas make your own assessment mm-hmm. Kaya, uh, it's not a simple it's not a simple thing but with uh, oh, yeah. with the, with yeah marami na tayong nakarat na naranasan so kahit papano natuto na tayo kung paano gawin yan and that's what I'm trying to do Ayan, and, thank you yeah, at, 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 the response as I said is uh, as, uh, has always has been as good as it has been Ma- uh, oh, yeah. in, the, in all my previous uh, elections ah, thank you at ito yung kasama natin sa TV5 si Dale uh, Devera may question sa iyo uh, Sen uh, go ahead uh, Dale Sir, good morning. Uh, good morning. To ask, uh, if it's a uh, Duterte, Duterte, or Go Duterte tandem, are you willing to run against them? Well, I, I, I'd rather not uh, get into hypotheticals. No? Uh, because I'll be talking to them also and mm-hmm. asking them what their plans are. No, uh, I, the, that's the thing. Because the only ones, the specific is PDP, that they are saying Go Duterte talaga ang kanilang magiging kandidato. So uh, I don't know how firm that is, uh, because it can, it, we have we have a, we still have some time for that to change, and uh, we don't know. We don't know the what what the president will do is also a mystery to all of us. Hindi natin alam ang kundi ito tuloy ba yata talaga yung pagkabipin niya? Kung tutuloy ba talaga si Senator Bongo? Kung si Sara tutuloy ba? And this is that's all that's all in the in the Duterte camp. Mm-hmm. So we still, but he is now the sitting president, and uh, uh, Sarah is doing uh, coming, coming, doing very well in the survey. So these these have to be assessed. But until they announce or until it is clear what they intend to do, it's very hard to respond. Uh, mag mm-hmm. speculate. Uh, by the way, may statement na si Senator Bongo eh. Uh, yung sa Go Duterte, ano, sabi niya, eto, basahin ko na lang yung last part ng statement yun. Gaya ng sinabi ko noon na makapagbabago lang ng aking desisyon na tumakbo bilang presidente ay kung si Tatay Digong ang aking magiging bise presidente. Yan. Hmm. Parang okay siya, yeah, yeah. pero so, kailangan muna niya ng gosig na lang kanyang magiging vice president. Eh, eh tama naman eh, dahil yun ang bus niya eh. Eh, oh. that's, that's, perfect, that's perfectly natural. Uh, tama rin yung kanyang sinasabi. And I think, uh, I think uh, whatever he will do, kung ano man ang gagawin niya, siyempre, magpapaabisuhan siya ni, ni, ni Pangulong, Pangulong Duterte uh, kung ano yung pinakamaganda para sa kanila. But ayun uh, na nga, hanggang ma- malaman natin kung ano ba talaga ang magiging sitwasyon, uh, eh, mahirap magsabi eh, ngayon pa lang na dito ako papanig, dyan ako, dyan ako sasama, sasama dito o tatakbo. So, mm-hmm. it's really, it's not, it's not, na, na, pati kami, nahirapan kami dahil uh, usually nga, mas, mali, mas maliwanag na yung, uh, mas maliwanag na yung, yung different sides eh. Merong opposition, merong administration, may mga independent. Pero alam nyo na, more or less, alam mo na. Pero ngayon, eh, hindi ganun eh. And I think the pandemic has a lot to do with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dahil nga, eh, naiba, naiba lahat. 
Isa pang isa pang issue na hindi natin masyadong napapag-usapan is the well actually the lumalabas-labas na is yung sinasabi mga survey na sinasabi ng mga raming tao na hindi na sila boboto kung nandiyan pa yung yung COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, kailangan natin i-analyze na sino yung nagsabi noon. Mm -hmm. uh, if they say uh, 50% of registered voters will not vote because of COVID, anong demographic yun? Yung mga matatanda yes. ba yan? Yung mga mm -hmm. bata ba yan? Uh, yung mga mayaman? Yung mga hindi mayaman? Ano bang, ano, kailangan din i-analyze yan. Eh. Kaya na, 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 dati, alam na natin gawin yan. We know how to analyze already. So by early this year, alam more or less, nakikita na natin ang, ang takbo ng, uh, ng panahon. But, Uh, di, sa ngayon ay hindi talaga malaman because everything is very changeable and the president is also very uh, anong, uh, what is the crafty I think is the good mm -hmm. English word for that when it uh, comes to politics so he, he's keeping everybody guessing yeah uh, ito pala sen Senator oh, yung banner ni Joey Binancho ngayon uh, Sarah Win gatsal yan to niluluto dahil okay. presidente ang takbo ni Marcos. Eh, ito, parang nag-usap ba kayo ni Joey Binancio at uh, tatakbo ka raw presidente? <laughs> hindi, 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 hindi. Well, <laughs> syempre, we're all in touch, but eh, wala kami, wala naman pinag-uusapan na ganyan. Kaya nga nang sabi ko, uh, we have to decide. Uh, I, 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 alam, I, siko, because it's a national position, ang pag-ikot, ang pagkampanya, ang pag-organize, ang pagplano is uh, similar. So mm -hmm. whatever what the, the basics are all about the same. You still have to go around, you still have to uh you still kailangan mo pa rin patibayin yung mga areas na mati, na malakas ka. Uh, kailangan mo rin trabahuhin yung mga areas na mahina ka. Ganun pa rin, hindi naman nagbabago. Kaya uh, all of the, yung lahat ng nagagawa ko ngayon Uh, yung mga pag uh, pag-ikot uh, uh, even the, the PR uh, all of that that will be that will be to, uh, to the benefit of whatever I decide to mm, ayun uh, pero ito may nabasa akong sa press statement naman ni Tito Soto uh, kasi si Wingat Chalyan at si Tito Soto parehas Nationalist People's Coalition to eh mm -hmm. no so mukhang malabo na tong si Win dahil alam nga namang bigyan ng endorsement ni Tito Soto yan <laughs> Kalaban niya, sa, kalaban niya sa posisyon, kapartido palagay, niya. Palagay ko, eh, si eh, Sekjen si Tito Sen, eh. Mm. Siyang Sekjen ng, ano, eh, ng NPC. So, <laughs> baka hindi niya bigyan ng kuwan. Labo-labo <laughs> <laughs> yan, Senador. So, so mukhang, mukhang, ano to, mukhang mangyayari talaga dito, eh, Sarah Marcos, o Marcos Sara ito, o uh, Senator, ganun ba yan? Well, that's, of course, lahat kagaya na sabi ko, that's all the possibility. It's, all of these uh, combinations, siyempre, bukas tayo may, sa lahat yan. May palita kasi, nagbububuo na lang line-up si Senador Bongbong din, eh. Mm hmm? Eh, pag nakakumpito well, daw. Is, is that na. true, uh, Senator? May, nagbubuo ka ng line-up? Nag, well, kinaka, hindi naman, hindi pa pwede magbuo ng line-up sa ngayon. Pero, siyempre, marami na ako nakakausap, maraming lumalapit. Mm -hmm. uh, sasama ako sa iyo. I'll be with you. Anong partido natin? Saan tayo pupunta? Mm -hmm. Anita. All of these things. Meron na, meron na talagang ganyan. Dahil national ito eh. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, hindi so, ka pwede. Siguro kung pa. yung mga governor, baka kaya pa nang yung nag-iisa. Kahit walang vice governor, yes, so. walang konsyal, walang mayor, kaya pa nilang ilaban yan. Pero sa national, hindi po pwede. Kailangan mm -hmm. talaga may kasama ka sa bawat lugar. Yun ang mga lumalabang para sa iyo, yun yung mga nagkakampanya para sa iyo. You have to you have to get that organized. So, uh, yes. So, yung mga yung mga line up, yung gusto kong kasama, yung gustong sumama, all of that nandiyan na sila lahat. At uh, tinitingnan na namin kung ano ba talaga yung pinakamagandang combination. KBL pa rin po ano, Senador. Well, nandiyan ang KBL, KBL is still a national party. Uh, marami ring lumalapit na iba. Uh, I'm presently under, I, I am still a member of the Nationalista Party. Uh, so, talagang, again, uh, to go back to the, the, the role of the parties has changed very much. Hindi na kagaya yes, ng two-party system natin na may mga lugar sa sabihin. And then, dito kami, LP kami dito. Yes. Mula nung umpisa, dito, NP kami dito. Kahit sino yung kandidato, binoboto natin. Mm. Uh, then, I guess in similar fashion sa United States, dahil two-party rin sila. Meron mga blue states and red states. Yes, Dito, meron tayo dati ganyan. Ngayon, wala na. Mm -hmm. Wala na kasi. Kasi, walang... 
ang party si ang multi-party system dito sa Pilipinas parang hindi masyadong hindi masyadong nagwagi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nga, oh, nga. <laughs> dahil eh, hindi ma, ma, eh, walang walang kabuluhan yung pagmiyembro mo sa isang partido eh, unless except for except for the the bigger parties. Mm. Yung mga ano pwede kasing lumipat walang na, there's no political cost to turn coatism mm. mm. there's no political cost to changing parties mm. uh, kung sa ibang lugar kahit yung multi-party system lalo na sa Europe pag palipat-lipat ka ang tingin sa iyo ng tao wala kang panindigan mm. you have no ideology wala kang sinusundan mm. basta convenience lang ang ginagawa mm. mo so may cost yun dito mm. wala pa tayo I think the, the electorate does not quite understand how the multi-party system is supposed to work. Dahil wala mm. tayong experience dyan eh. Uh, so, that, 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 the reason that has happened, so, the parties become marriages of convenience lang for each yes, election. Oh. Oh. Actually, Senator, yan yung gustong i-develop ng father mo nun eh. Kaya nga meron tayong batasang mm. pambansa, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yung multi-party, dinidevelop, pero along that line, eh, again, after 1986, nagbago na naman ang uh, sitwasyon, uh -oh. kaya walang nangyari dyan. At, uh, at saka, mahirap, mahirap ang multi-party system pag merong uh, uh, two houses. Mm -hmm. uh, because, lalo na in our system, because sa states, ang, ang senadores are elected by states. Mm. So, ang talagang constituency nila are states. Yes. Uh, so, they when when I was explaining once our system to an American friend, and they said the senator, no, the senator is voted at large. Sabi ko lahat the, the whole country votes for the senator. Ang tanong niya sa akin, who does the senator work for? Mm. Sinong 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 constituency? Sabi ko buong, buong Pilipinas. So who do they work for? Kasi sa amin they work for the state. Ostensibly mm. they work for the state. They are there to represent the state in Congress. Mm -hmm. So that is, I think, one of the problems that uh, hindi ma resolve uh, having a multi-party system and an upper house. So that's the, that is why the IBP, yung nabanggit mo, interim batasan pambansa, ang naging batasan, uh, yan ang talagang pinupuntahan dapat niyan, na magkaroon ng single parliament and that parliament will have uh, MPs and the MPs will belong to their own parties, but the parties stand for something. Yes, uh, yun ang ibig sabihin. Na alimbawa, uh, yung the, the yung example that I'm most familiar with, of course, is the UK. And in the UK, if you're a conser you're the, you're a member of the Conservative Party, your politics are generally right of center. Yes, uh, oh. Oh, if you are a liberal party member, you are generally left, or labor is generally left. Liberal is libertarian in its uh, in its approach. SNP, the Scottish Nationalists, are working for Scottish nationalism. Mm. Uh, all of, all of these, they, they, they have, the Green Party is starts with because of the because of uh, the ecology. Or that's that's how it started anyway. So anyway, the, these are the, the you cannot hindi mo makikita yung palipat lipat. Uh, sa, sa America, may Republican, may Democrat. And again, the, the general, the general uh, spectrum is that Republicans are generally right of center. And the, uh, sorry, the Republicans are right of center. Democrats are generally left of center. Mm. So they have totally different, not totally, but they have different approaches to government. And pagpipilian mo, hindi lang yung tao kung hindi yung programa. So sabi, ito yung balak namin. Sa amin palagay, ito yung pinakamaganda. Sasabihin naman nung kabila, uh, yun ang aming, ito, ito naman, hindi nag-iiba nag yung plano namin. Hindi kami sang ayon dun sa sinasabi nila. Mm -hmm. Ito yung aming approach. And that is, yun ang, yun ang pag mo. Now, uh, that, 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 that is also, <laughs> na matapunta na tayo sa political science. Uh, oh. the put, that, that's why, I, ako, I was very, very much before, or, Believe ako sa multi-party system because I saw how it worked in UK, in Germany, mm -hmm. in all the European countries. And it seems to work very well. Uh, so I was always for the multi-party system. But having gone through it, uh, having been a local government uh, executive, having been in the legislature, nakikita ko that maybe it's time to return because there's no political cost na to turn quotism. Yeah. 
maybe there is, it is time to return or to start thinking very hard about returning to the two-party system. Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? Because there is a, there is a, um, a very rigorous test to make sure that the quality of leadership that we end up with is the best that we can find. Because, let us say, balikan natin, liberal, nationalista, okay? Lahat ng member ng liberal, gusto lahat yan, maging mayor, maging governor, maging yes, presidente, yes, oh. maging senador. Ito sa kabila, ganun din. Dito sa nationalista, ganun din. Lahat yan, gusto maging, may ambisyon yan, maging kung ano. Ngayon, sa loob ng partido, within the parties, meron ng, ano, meron ng nagigirian na sila, nagdidebate na sila, pinipili nila kung sino sa palagay nila, pinakamagaling na mayor ng ganito, na governor ng ganito, na, uh, na congressman. Na, uh, so, pag naglabas ang party ng ticket, sasabihin na ito ang ticket ng nasyonalista, yan na yung pinakamagaling na membro ng nasyonalista. Pag naglabas ng ticket yung LP, sasabihin na liberal, ito yung pinakamagaling namin. Para naman, pagdating ng eleksyon, kahit sinong manalo, magaling yun. Yes, supposed to that's be. One, in, in, that, that's the theory, uh, Senator. Di ba? Uh, supposed to be. But yun the thing is, you have to, that, that, that gives you a certain assurance that may, kahit pa paano, may quality of leadership yun. na lalabas. Yun uh -huh. ang importante na makakatulong talaga sa bansa. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, yung iba nating mga kasamaan, uh, si, uh, so, si Juby de Guzman ng DWBL. Uh, kapatid, may tanong ka ba? Go ahead. Uh, Juby, ano, nawala. Nawala. Na. Si Lakay, pa siya. Lakay, may tanong ka ba ulit? Nasa si Lakay? Ayun, Juby. Oh, may Ayun. tanong ka ba? Oh, go ahead. Y yung yung ano mo yung, good morning you oh, nakamute ka yung nakamute ka yung mic mo paki-open yeah. yeah oh nawala ulit ano ayan, ayan she's ayan, back ayan. Oh, she's back morning po she's sa back. inyong lahat uh, senator bong gusto ko lang malaman kagaya rin po ba ni Duterte na pangulo natin ang gagawin po ninyo kung sakaling kayo po maging presidente waiting po ang mga proyekto alam natin tinutuloy na ho ngayon Eh, ganun rin po ba ang gagawin nyo? Itutuloy-tuloy nyo pa rin kahit po halimbawa hindi ninyo ito proyekto o wala ho kayong pangalan sa proyekto? O, siyempre, eh, ayan, ayan, sakit ng Pilipinas yan. Hindi natin dapat ituloy yan. Kung maganda, bakit hindi? Mm. Dapat, in fact, yung mga ginawa ni Pangulo Duterte, we should, dapat para may, pa, 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 lawakin pa natin yan eh. Mm -hmm. That is a good start yung kanyang ginawa. Yun ang sinasabi niya sa atin doon sa sa kanyang state of the nation. Na sinasabi ganito ito yung mga issues, ito yung mga sektor na importante sa akin. Ini isa-isa niya, ha, ah, yung drug war, tapos yung West Philippine Sea, yung corruption, lahat pinag-usapan niya. And at the same time, hindi lang niya pinag-usapan, sinabi rin niya, hindi ko natapos yung iba. Mm -hmm. Kaya kailangan pa rin ninyo, hindi ba may utos siya yung ending niya, nag-utos pa siya, may, may, may utos siya sa, sa, lalo na sa legislature, ipasa na natin itong mga batas na ito para marami, mas marami pa tayong na, nagawa doon sa gusto natin gawin. Mm -hmm. And that is, I think, uh, the best message for people to, 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 to take on. As I said, kung maganda yung ginawa ninyo, sa palagay ninyo, magandang ginawa na ni Presidente, ipagpatuloy eh, natin. And uh, mm -hmm. in fact, make it bigger, make it better. Uh, ah. Like for example, the, yung sa build, 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 expand yan. To not just uh, yung uh, horizontal and vertical construction, pero to other things, we, we include power, internet, all of those things. Mm -hmm. Palakihin natin. Pero ngayon pa lang siya nag-start. Kaya I think the, there will be elements. Marami naman sa akin pinag-usapan just, just now uh, tungkol sa agri, tungkol sa uh, naumpisahan na. Uh, kailangan talaga that uh, the reforms. And the people don't uh, na, nakakalimutan natin because the politics is so heated. Uh, nakakalimutan natin that there's actually may, may trabaho ang gobyerno, hindi lang lumalaban sa eleksyon. Pero may trabaho ang gobyerno at ito yung mga ginagawa. And mm -hmm. I think uh, we have to remove, uh, ako nangihinayan ako yung attitude ng, uh, ng politika kung minsan sa Pilipinas, hindi kung minsan, madalas sa Pilipinas na sinasabi, ako lang yung magaling, lahat mm -hmm. ng naka, ano, lahat na yung, yung nakalabang ko, na natalo ko, wala, walang kwenta lahat yung ginawa. Hindi totoo yun eh. 
Mm-hmm. Hindi ito man totoo. Meron din naman maganda. Ituloy niya lang ninyo. Kagaya uh, nitong mga plano na pinag-usapan natin that were, that were made for 20, 30 years. Eh kung maganda, di gamitin ninyo. And in fairness to the Duterte government, kung na, nakikita nilang makakatulong at maganda, ginagamit talaga nila. And that's uh-huh. what I intend to do. Uh-huh. I, it's, not, it's not about politics anymore. It's about nation uh-huh. building. It's, mm-hmm. it's about nation building. We should not talk about uh-huh. politics. After the elections, are, I know it's impossible to do. Yes. Because ang napakainit na. But uh, the, the decisions that have to be made have to be made in terms of ano ikabubuti ng bansa. Mm-hmm. Hindi na yung ano eh, paano ko tulungan yung kalyado ko, paano kumita okay. itong ganito, paano payayamanin yung ganito. Dapat hindi na, hindi na muna ganun. Uh, Salamat po. We have to, Salamat we have, po. Uh, we have to stick to the we have to stick to the job that the people have given us and that is to build this nation, build it back better. Yan. Salamat po. Thank Salamat you. po. Thank Salamat po. Uh, 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 diyan sa punto na 'yan, Senator, actually kayo ang unang-unang biktima diyan eh, di ba? Yung after 30 years hanggang ngayon. Nga pala anong message mo doon sa mga hindi maka on na uh, after 30 years? Uh, Basta uh, well <laughs> Wala, talagang kuminsan, <laughs> hindi na hindi mapulis. Uh, uh, those people who don't let your... Uh, kuminsan, ang aasim, ang, ang hang na magsalita na wala namang connection dun sa usapan. And so, I always try to think, I always try to send the, the message to them. You know, don't let your hate overwhelm your humanity. Mm-hmm. Your pagka-Pilipino, yung pagmamahal ninyo sa bansa. Dahil galit kayo sa isang tao, yun na lang ang inang. Kalimutan nyo muna, tulungan nyo muna yung tao, tulungan nyo muna yung bansa. I suppose some of them think that that's the way of helping, but uh, hating people is not, uh, is, not, uh, pro- is not a productive uh, exercise. Mm-hmm. Oh, si kasama rin yung maliwat na dyan ba? Oh, oh, kasama rin eh, yeah, go ahead, sige, sige. O oh, rin eh, tanong ka kailan ito. Uh, good morning, uh, Pangulo. Good morning, good morning. Gandang umaga po. At uh, itatanong ko lang kasi yung uh, may mga partido ngayon, particular na yung uh, PDP, eh, medyo nagkakalabuan. May kumukumpinsi ba sa'yo para isa ka sa maging uh, leader nila? Bagamat uh, isa si Pacquiao sa sinasabi nila na gustong tumakbong presidente, eh, uh, may uh, nag-re-recommenda ba sa'yo na ikaw maging Pangulo, siya maging Vice President? Marami, maraming mga iba, lahat ng combination ay eh, pinapayo sa akin. Pacquiao Marcos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oo, Marcos lahat, Pacquiao. Lahat, lahat ng may isip ninyong combination, narinig ko na siguro. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, marami. Uh, within the parties, outside of the parties, na merong mga gustong, uh, I suppose, sincere naman sila, gusto nang tumulong, sabi, ilalapit kita sa ganito, maka pwede kayo mag-usap. Basta lahat ng mga ganun, I entertain all of that. Hindi, wala naman ako hinihindihan. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, dahil nga, you, yung, you never know. Eh, you never know what will happen from one day to the next, one week to the next. Uh, baka yung mga pinopropose nila na sinasabi mo, parang mahirap yan, parang hindi yata magubuo yan. May mangyari. And before you know it, that's the best uh, yes. option that you have. No? Kaya talag- marami talagang lumalapit. Uh, And uh, I think sincere naman ang kanilang paglapit na sinasabi, mm-hmm. maganda sana ito kung magawa natin, maganda ito, malakas kayo, marami kayo magagawang maganda. Uh, so magsama kayo. So sure, mag-usap kami, uh, titignan na. Ang, ang ano ko lang talaga is uh, um, ang, ang parang judgment ko na para dyan sa mga tinatawag na combination or... Uh, alliances ay basta't naman ay eh, nagtutugma ang aming hangarin para sa kabutihan ng Pilipinas. Yun lang naman eh. And I go back to that phrase that I used earlier, uh, nation building. Mm-hmm. Dapat we have to remind ourselves that the, pro- the, 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 the job of government and everybody in government or everybody in public service is to build this nation. Mm-hmm. And it's not to... It's not, not to not to win the next election, although you have to win the election to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's not the main point. The main point is to make the country better. And we really need that kind of thinking now. Dahil, eh, itong ang pandemya talagang na-knockout tayo eh, in every way. Uh, in terms of uh, nagkakasakit, meron yung nagkaka... Uh, yung ekonomiya, nahihirapan, all of these things. So, 
uh, yun ang yun ang atin dapat na uh, na tinitignan and as long as we agree uh, on the general principles of how we should proceed with the uh, after within the pandemic and after the pandemic then maybe we should uh, then then maybe we can have an alliance uh, it's, just, it's just that simple really uh, that simple and that complicated Mm. Uh, Senador Bong, uh, Marcos Pacquiao, Pacquiao Marcos, okay ba sa'yo? Ha? Pag-usapan natin. Bakit hindi? Eh, isil, ano yan? Uh, alias ka na, ano, Mindanao, tsaka okay. ano yan? Nandit, tsaka, tsaka nabanggit mo, Senator, eh, halos lahat yata ng kombinasyon na eh, uh, na, na banggit na sa'yo. Yeah, no? So, oh. y- yung bang Marcos Moreno, Moreno Marcos, <laughs> Nakarating, nakarating ba sa'yo? Nakarating doon ba sa'yo yan? <laughs> well, eh, si, si Mayor Isko, kaibigan na kaibigan ko, yun, matagal na. Yun. Tapos lahat, lahat ng tao na, kaibigan na kaibigan ko rin. So, ah, eh, yun. siyempre kahit pa paano, we run into each other, nag-uusap kami. Again, tao, pag sa Marcos pa again kayo, all of those, all of those combinations are, 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 have, been, have been proposed. Kaya... Mm. Eh di uh, yan nga ang, ang ganyan talaga ano pag-usapan natin kung maganda bang maging resulta ng usapan natin bakit hindi na, 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 Naririto kasi sa press club yung ano eh mga reporter sa Manila City Hall nag, nagpapalakpakan sila nung mabanggit yung Moreno Marcos Moreno Marcos, Marcos Moreno o, lalo na si Aya Yupanko ang lapad ng ngiti oh. <laughs> Marcos pala to si Aya Yupanko na to eh <laughs> Well uh, with that uh, Uh, Senator, by the way, kumusta pala ang mother mo? I would like to congratulate her. Uh, siya ay uh, ano pala, awardee ng Association to Promote Philippines-China Understanding. Siya pala ay isa sa awardee lifetime, lifetime for her uh, significant role in uh, establishing the diplomatic relations between uh, China and the Philippines way back in 1975. May mga picture na gano'n na nasa internet, uh, Senator. Kasama kayong mga anak ng first family nung no, nagpunta kayo sa China noon, di ba? Hindi eh, eh, lahat dahil nung unang, unang uh, trip, eh, unofficial pa yun eh. Mm-hmm. I know, I, I, no, 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 I, I'm mistaken. Uh, it was the, the, the first official trip na galing, the official delegation na galing sa Pilipinas na pumunta sa China was in 1974. Ah, okay. At ang head 74. ng delegation, ang mother ko, mm-hmm. kasama ako doon. I was 16 mm-hmm. years old. Mm-hmm. Nung okay. pin- sinama, sinama ako. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, at uh, yun ang una. Yun yung mm-hmm. unang lapit. Wala pang, uh, syempre, that was, uh, the, pinapun- pinapunta siya ng father ko doon uh, upon the invitation of uh, Chairman Mao and Uh, si, at the time, the foreign minister was Cho Enlai mm-hmm. uh, upon the invitation of the Chinese government uh, with, the, the, with, with the intention of opening diplomatic relations. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, kasama ako noon. Nung bumalik ang father ko para pumirma na mm-hmm. ng uh, actual, uh, ano, actual uh, formal uh, formation of uh, the diplomatic, uh, diplomatic relationship, nung nangyari yun, eh, hindi ako nakapunta. Lahat, lahat ng pamilya ko nakapunta. Aha. Nagmamakaawa ako sa father ko. Sabi ko, isama ninyo ko. Sabi niya, may exam ka. Mag-exam ka muna. Nasa school na pa ako nun eh. Sabi niya, hindi ka pwede. Sabi ko, eh ako nandun ako nung simula. But, uh, siyempre, at that time, yung pinaka-importante sa father ko yung mag-aaral. So, hmm. I, went to, I went on the first trip uh, that was in 74. Mm-hmm. Hindi na ako nakasama dun sa formal signing And of this, the this diplomatic was, relations. Yeah, this is was after one year, uh, June 6, 1975, if I'm not well, uh, mistaken, Senator. And uh, I think dito i-recognize yung, ano, yung role ng mother mo uh, for, yun, for the establishment of the formal diplomatic relations between China and the Philippines. She would be the Hall of Famer, first Hall of Famer ng APCU together with uh, Ambassador uh, Chua. If I, Francis Chu, ah. if I'm not uh, mistaken. Oh. Uh, kundi ako nagkakamali, yung mother mo, how, how is she now? Kasi going back into history, ngayon lang malalaman ng mga kababayan natin, siya ang ambassador extra-pornial, explore, exposiary ba yun? Uh, ang, ng father mo. Uh, in fact, nakausap niya si Gaddafi, nakausap niya hmm. si Fidel Castro pala, may kuha sila. I, I, uh, I don't pa- think... Wala yata siyang formal title as a diplomat. Mm. Pero 
siya lagi talaga ang nag-head ng delegation dahil eh, kung ang ma, ma, yung mother ko magaling talaga makipag-usap eh she's mm-hmm. very uh, makat uh, you know she's she, sa para siya, kahit sino na nasasabayan niya eh. kahit hari kahit mm-hmm. na yes, oh. fisherman kahit na trabahador kahit na kayang-kaya niyang kausapin eh. yan yan ang, yan ang that's her genius is really mm-hmm. that she's uh, mm-hmm. she connects to people very very quickly na uh, huli niya kaagad ang 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 tao kung ano yung iniisip ano yung uh, ano yung kailangan niyang gawin para mabuo itong uh, whatever po itong itong agreement na ito whatever it is uh, So, siya ang pinapadala ng father ko. And marami talaga siyang napuntaan. Lahat ng pinakasikat na leader sa buong mundo, nakilala na yata niya. Kung makita niya yung mga picture, lahat, lahat yes, ng yes. Na, na, narinig niya. Yung mga nababasa lang natin sa libro, mga naging kaibigan pa niya yan. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya at, uh, yes, so she was the, she was the uh, ambassador at large, I suppose you could call her. Mm-hmm. Oh, na talagang siya, lang ang nag, siya, siya talaga ang nag-head ng mga first delegation. Siyempre, kasama niya yung mga different, very important members of government. Pero he, she makes the first approach. Yung yes. Kikadafi, like a simple, simple ano nung Kikadafi, nung una siyang pumunta sa Libya, nung nandun siya, siyempre gusto niya makipagkita Kikadafi. Mm-hmm. Uh, ayaw, ayaw silang, ayaw silang i-entertain mm-hmm. ni Colonel Kadafi. For ilang araw nagaantay lang daw sila sa 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 hotel for word na uh, magkikipagkita. Eh ayaw talaga ni Kadafi for I whatever whatever reason. Yes, yes. Nalaman ngayon niya na yung tatay ni Kadafi nasa disyerto. At uh, nagpunta sa disyerto kasi uh, doon sila doon talaga tumitira siya. Pinuntahan niya yung father. <laughs> Pinuntahan niya yung father ni ni Colonel Kadafi. Nakikiusap siya, sabi mo sabihin mo naman sa anak mo that we need to talk to him because ganito ganyan. Tumawag si yung father ni Kadafi, tumawag sa telepono habang nandoon yung mother ko. Eh pagbaba niya ng telepono, sabi niya, "Okay, you go back, he, he will see you." Pag balik nila sa hotel nila, nandun na si Kadafi. Ah. Pinaantay sila. Ganun yung mga technique ng mother. Oo, oh, galing. No? Tas, sabi sa iyo, yun ang genius niya. Oh, oh. Ma- talagang mga abilidad. Mm. At uh, talagang, that is, th- those are the many ways galing. that she, she, appro- she can find a way to approach people in a non-threatening way, in a non-aggressive yes, oh. way. Oh. Eh, babae pa. So in, talagang in fact, uh, mas, mas ano yung dating niya. In fact, Senator, that meeting with Gaddafi paved the way for the, di ba, yung ceasefire agreement ng MNLF at saka ng, Pil- ng Pilipinas, no? Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng mga autonomous region. Oo. Mm-hmm. Oo. Yan, yeah, that was part of the agreement na napirmahan between the Philippines and uh, Libya. Kasi mm-hmm. yes, no? nalaman ng intel natin that Libya may, sum- may sum- sumusuporta dun sa laban sa South. So, make peace with the, ano, the... And uh, that was also an element of our approach in China because ang, na, na, the revolution uh, that was being fomented in the countryside by the NPA, the CPP and PA uh, at the time was Maoist. Yes. Oh. So, pinuntahan natin yung China. Doon tayo nakipag-peace. So, sa parang ang pinakausapan, tulungan, we will do what you, what you, what you, um, uh, Wag na tayong maglalaban. Wag mm-hmm. na kayong magpadala ng wag na kayong magpadala ng armas ng ng kung ano na para labanan ng gobyerno namin. Kasi mm-hmm. magdiretso diretso na lang tayo mag-usap. Mm-hmm. And that was the that was the kind of uh, that was the kind of diplomacy that my mother was involved in. Pero hindi lang 'yon, marami pa siyang ibang Yes, marami na, nakita ko nga and it's a good thing na uh, dapat malaman 'to ng ating mga kababayan because for the last 30 years ang narrative ay eh, napakasama ng mga Marcos sa uh, Uh, Senator uh, Bongbong. Na malaki nang malaki nang nagbabago di, 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 di merong talaga ako nakikitang tendency dahil uh, because I think of the internet uh, yung mga bata lalo they have other sources of information yes, hindi no? lamang television hindi lamang radyo hindi lamang sa diaryo. So nakakapag uh, internet nakaka-i-google nila iba-iba yung nakikita nila. And many many of the uh, uh, comments that I get nagbablog ako Uh, mga comments na nakukuha ko, yung sinasabi ng tao, sinasabi lalo kabataan, sabi niya, okay, alam namin, sabi ng, sabi ng dilaw, ganito. Uh, do, do. Pero alam namin, propaganda yan eh. Pero yung sinabi niya, parang propaganda rin. Ano ba talaga? 
Mm-hmm. Ano ba talaga ang katotohanan? Bakit ba nagmarsalo yung tatay mo? Bakit ba niya ginawa ito? Bakit ba niya ginawa yung masagana 99? Bakit ba niya, bakit ba, bakit ba pinapunta rito yung IMF? Bakit nandito yung ADB? All of these things na tinatanong mm-hmm. na on, on a more factual basis and uh, we try to we try to uh, to to inform uh, as to what in fact uh, some of the best vlogs that I have yung napakarami ang nanood ay yung tungkol nga sa mga nangyari nung nakaraan dun sa administrasyon ng aking ama. Uh, so people people are interested to know the, what really happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, so so far I think that we we have been getting a very good response. So nakakatuwa naman. Now we are finally coming to get we are getting uh, to the point that the discussion of the Marcos legacy is beyond propaganda already. Mm. Hindi na propaganda lang. Yun. Thank you. Well, uh, with that, uh, we've taken so much of your time, uh, Senator Bong. Oh, teka, may isa pa pala. May tanong pa si Rene, mga taga-radio, may tanong pa. Jun Tadena. Uh, go ahead, uh, Jun. Hello. Yung may magtatanong. Kasi otherwise, uh, we would, uh, we would uh, be asking the good Senator na to say his final uh, no final words uh, June Tadena ah? may tanong pa yung taga radio natin sino, sino? si Rene Maliwat sa si Rene may tanong ka ba ulit Rene sige go ahead yes uh, Pangulo Ata yung kanina kasi uh, hindi hindi siguro na talakay din ito yung regarding po sa yung petition sa pet ni uh, Senator eh, ano po yung update at parang uh, sinasabi nga nila, sinasabi ng kampo ni uh, BP Lini na parang hindi pa rin matanggap ng uh, kampo ni uh, Senator Marcos yung uh, pagbasura ng uh, Supreme Court dito. Well, eh, meron, eh, buhay pa kasi meron pang nagko-comment ng mga justice eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's really not uh, hindi hindi sa amin yun dahil uh, yung mga justice kasi may tinat may mga tinatanong pa tungkol sa mga yung legal decision kasi parang ang lumabas na decision hindi yun ang pinag-agrihan ng mga justice mm-hmm. so there are still comment nag 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 uh, anuhan pa ng uh, comments nag uh, humingi si uh, Chief Justice uh, uh, Alex uh, Gisubundo is now asking uh, for comments from both sides so mm-hmm. nandun ang status niya ngayon Mm. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Apo. Thank you. Uh, Director Joey, kung wala nang ano, eh, baba, thank you very much again, Senator Bongbong Marcos, your final word to our uh, nation. Well, first of all, thank you very much, uh, Paul, uh, Joey, dun sa, dito sa opportunity na, uh, to be with the NPC once more after such mm-hmm. a long time. Yes, uh, I cannot end without saying... Uh, we will be we, that that we are so happy dito sa resulta ng ating mga athlete at uh, kahit na kahit na nasa gitna tayo nitong pandemya at uh, na, na maraming na, na naghihirap kahit papaano meron tayong balita na nakakatuwa at nakaka nakakataba ng puso ng lahat ng Pilipino it's very mm-hmm. very important that uh, uh, that we have this kind of inspiration uh, these role models for our young children. So I cannot congratulate them enough. I cannot thank them enough for all the pride and the honor that they are bringing home to our country. So mabuhay kayong lahat. They, uh, now that we are approaching the lockdown again, uh, we, are, we are actually starting today. Nang na-lockdown na naman tayo. I just urge people, ang aking isang, mag-ingat po, magtsaga lang po kayo. Alam pong pagod na kayo at mar- matagal na nating ginagawa itong pag-lockdown. Ngunit eh, sana mag-ingat po kayo at balikan po natin yung mga protocol, uh, yung pagsuot ng mask, yung paghugas ng kamay at yung pag-social distancing. At kapag, kapag nag, uh, uh, nagkaroon kayo ng pagkakataon na magpabaksin, magpabaksin na po kayo. Uh, mag-register na po kayo habang wala pang baksin tapos pagka na magpabaksin na po kayo para maibalik natin ang ekonomiya natin para makapagtrabaho na naman tayo na maayos and uh, that is uh, that, that is what my constant theme is that please be careful magingat ingat po tayo lahat let us keep the, let us keep safe let us keep our family safe at uh, sana eh, mag-uusap-usap ulit tayo at yes. uh, isipin natin ng mabuti kung Ipalampasin natin, ang, ipalampasin natin ang ating pag-iisip sa politika lamang 
at isipin natin ang mabuti kung paano natin pagagandahin ang ating minamahal na Pilipinas. Yan, mm-hmm. yan ang tanging hangarin natin lahat ay pagandahin natin ang Pilipinas. At uh, kahit na, na, na nadadaan tayo sa pandemya, kahit na nadadaan tayo sa economic crisis, yan pa rin dapat ang paggising natin, yan ang iniisip natin. Bago tayo matulog, yan ang dapat iniisip natin. So, mm-hmm. but with that unity na nagkaka-agree tayo, para ma ma ma, 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 ma makakaraos din tayo we will not only we will not only survive but we will succeed uh, we will succeed as long as Filipinos are working together and are unified dahil napakagaling ng Pilipino napakatalented ng Pilipino we should just apply that all the talent all that industry all that resourcefulness in one direction and we will go very very far so let Thank us you. work together Thank you. At uh, hopefully, uh, Director Joey, uh, next na ano natin kay Senator uh, Bongbong, eh, sapain na ng candidacy, eh, ganun ba yun? Mare, mare. <laughs> Pagkatapos, pag-file. Ayan. Para, para ma-explain ko sa inyo yung ano pinipinan so, ko. Sa October, mare. No? Oh, October. <laughs> Oo, sige. And with that, mga kababayan, eh, nagpapasalamat pong muli ang National Press Club sa ating mga kapatid sa media. Ang dami nila ngayon, no? hanggang ngayon, hindi pa na rin natatapos yung thread dito sa ano sa ating Facebook page. Puro Marcos, ano? Lahat, puro, puro pro Marcos itong naririto. <laughs> Ay, hindi po kami ang nagpo-post nito. Ito po yung mga nanonood sa Facebook. Bukang nabigyan ito. Oh. Eh. Alam? Ano? Bukang nabigyan. <laughs> well, with that, Magandang tanghalian po sa ating lahat. Ito pong muli si Paul Gutierrez, ang Pangulo ng National Press Club. Kasama ko po si uh, Director uh, Joey Binancio. And again, thank you po sa ating mga partner stakeholders, ang Smart Philippines, ang Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, ang uh, Strategic Information Service ng DNR under USEC B94, and of course, ang MX3. And finally po, ha, ulitin lang po namin, hindi pa po patayang manayang pamamayag sa Pilipinas, lalo na po sa print media, sapagat ito po ang bagong issue ng uh, Rimate, Pinoy Expose, at saka po Police Files tonight. Again, magkita-kita po tayo sa susunod na edisyon ng ating programa. And thank you once again, Senator Bongbong Marcos, for accommodating us. Thank you.